This video is sponsored by Raycon, makers of premium audio at the perfect price point. Raycon is ready to fulfill all of your audio needs, whether it's the everyday earbuds, their low latency gaming headphones, or their speaker that will last all night long for your parties. Raycons start at half the price of other premium audio brands, so you don't need to break the bank for quality audio. The everyday earbuds are an excellent choice with over 50,000 five-star reviews. They have eight hours of playtime and the charging case holds up to 32 hours of battery. The custom gel tips will fit comfortably in your ears, so you never have to worry about them feeling awkward or falling out. I also love that they are water and sweat resistant since one of my favorite uses for them is running on the treadmill. It doesn't matter if I break a crazy sweat. I also recently, we've been getting a lot of rain in my area. I've been going for some nice rainy day walks and I like that I don't have to worry about them getting damaged. The earbuds sit completely flush in your ear while laying your head on a pillow. It's perfect for listening to ASMR to sleep. When I'm using them for ASMR, I love putting on the noise isolation mode so that it blocks out any cars honking or dogs barking that might burst my bubble of relaxation. And then when I'm walking around outside, I switch them over to awareness mode. So it's kind of like uh, there's audio transparency. You can hear what's happening around you. And all you need to do to toggle between those is hold down on the right earbud for three seconds. Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Click the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash moon to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Hello there, my most favorite customer. Thank you so much for inviting me back into your intricately adorned home. I swear, every time I return, this place is lovelier than the last. Truly a, a feast for the senses. So many different textures in here. Interesting objects. It's like I'm a ladybug inside a treasure chest. Uh, let me just make note of our appointment. Make sure I can keep all my records straight here. So, and It's perfect. Oh, by the way, do you like my new glasses? They're pretty decked out. I sprung for all the extras. Even the lens filter that lets you view the stats of any cat. <laughs> you know, the standard strength, dexterity, wisdom, charisma. I like to know what I'm up against. Well, not against. I assure you I would never enter combat against a cat. My coat of honor strictly forbids it. It's more like, um, helps me know what approach to friendship might be most successful. Priceless intel, really. So, on the phone, you informed me that you have been feeling burdened lately with the crushing weight of existence. Not to worry. I am just the cutie for the job. I suspect the issue could be that you are simply overdue for an energy cleanse. But we won't know for sure until I take a real careful, real up-close style look at you. <laughs> Does that sound alright with you? Perfect. Allow me a moment to unpack my equipment. And while I'm at it, why don't you busy yourself with imagining a butternut squash soup in a tiny green bowl with a mouse eating it with a little wooden spoon with garlic bread on the side oh sorry that one really reeled me in <gasps> okay let's see good stuff let's go mm -hmm. that's good that's good essential and of course, we'll take out the section of the and 
and I don't know if that will be necessary, but just in case it certainly can't hurt. Rusty binoculars, but first I need to apply a disguise. That way, the energies they won't get scared and hide from me if they know that I, world renowned energy assassin, is on the scene. They'll run for the hills. You'll look like you're clean as a whistle. We can't have that. But if they think I'm just some harmless little mustache man, I'll keep playing around in plain sight, and I'll be able to assess your situation accurately. Let's see which stash will suit me today. Hmm. This burly one here is uh, catching my eye. Feel like a real can-do kind of fella in that. Like I can fix a broken sink and give a mean bear hug. Uh, or. I think this curly one is kind of spiffy. Yeah, like I make my coffee with a percolator. <laughs> or uh, straight across for a rootin' tootin' straight shootin' pal. Like he knows how to do math and square dance. I think it's gotta be that first one. I've always wanted to fix a sink. Just got to peel off the back of this to reveal the adhesive backing that will allow us to transform to an unrecognizable state. Oh, it's perfect. I love it so much. Wow. Do you want to feel it? It's really soft. All right, suit yourself. Let's get a good look at you. Wow, you're even prettier up close. But, oh goodness, you are absolutely smothered in the bad energy noodles. Yep, there's some over here. Let's go with that. This is over there. all tangled up every which way, all around your head, your ears, your shoulders even. Oh, no wonder you were feeling out of whack. I can't wait to get you fixed up. You'll be feeling like a leprechaun waltzing on a rainbow by the time I'm done removing these. These energy noodles, they're coaxed out by different things depending on what type of emotion caused them. For example, sadness loves to pop bubbles, so they'll be much easier to remove if I bubble you first. Yes, bubble you. They'll all stretch their little arms out, reaching towards the bubbles like branches to the sun. I'll drape this over your outfit so it doesn't get all funny. Drape that over your shoulders like that. Wrap it around to the front and just smooth that down. Smooth it down. Makes nice. Pin it together in the front. Good. Right. Operation Bubbles is a go. Brace for impact in three, two, one. Like burning your toast 
and bigger, fluffier ones are from bigger sadnesses. Like whew, burning a bagel. I see you've got a lot of these. I'm sorry to see that, friend. Not to worry. These ones come out pretty easy. They're soft and not too stubborn. I get lots of these sadness strands whenever I run out of orange juice. Or my favorite shirt is in the wash. It's lavender with a little flower riding a scooter on it. I'd wear it every day if I could. Or when I'm collecting seashells, and I spot the perfect one to add to my collection. But then a wave washes it away before I can grab it. <sighs> Say la vie. It's a little tricky. Beautiful. It's a little bit up there. Nice. Oh, this is a weird one. It's kind of noodly. Oh. Good. <laughs> Another big boy. Like that's it for the sadness strands. Let's summon our next batch. Alright, now for fear, we use fire to coax them out. I need to turn off the lights and light up the sparklers. are a bit trickier, more stubborn, really want to stay put, but not to worry, there's still no match at all for my determination and expertise. I tend to get these in the dark. Every snail is a little princess to me.
another noodle. Uh, got him. Teddy good. done with fear. You sat like a champ. Next, Eloise is gonna cut your hair. Cut, 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 cut. Shorter and shorter and shorter. Lots of layers. Who cares if it's even? Yeah. Weed whacker style. Oh, just kidding. So sorry, so sorry. She didn't actually cut anything. These bad boys are duller than a doorknob. I just needed to make your anger strands angry so they spring out for me. Unnecessary evil, unfortunately. So, uh, let's get these suckers out of town. Your hair looks glorious, I promise. <laughs> so, uh, where to begin? Mm, at the top, I suppose. The top of the noggin. Over on the right side of the forehead here. Good. Under the chin. And here's a big one. All right. Good. You know, I get covered in these from head to toe. Whenever my bird nemesis steals berries from my garden, it would be fine if he enjoyed them, treasured them as the precious treats they are. But he doesn't. He just plucks them and throws them in the dirt for fun, like nothing. Dishonorable. There's a few of them way back at the top of your noggin here. Look at the crown of the head. Let's grab that. Good. And then closer to the edge of the head. Then behind the ear is always a spot where they like to nestle. Where it's dark. Glittering up the place real good. Lots and lots of little embarrassment strands. We'll be here in the nick of time, I'm sure. We're summoning them with sparkles. This would work on me too, to be honest. <laughs> if anybody starts spinning these bad boys around, I'll be there.
I'm quite familiar with these Mostly from when I leave the house with two different shoes on Mismatched It happens more often than you'd think Are you a morning person? Oh really? Yeah, I'm not at all In the mornings, I'm so discombobulated Oh here, little embarrassment. Don't be shy. Oh wow, here's a big time embarrassment. This keeps going for miles. What happened to you? Not to worry. I will not rest until it's eradicated. <laughs> Truly some of my finest work. This is the last one. Perfect. That must be quite a relief. For confusion, we do need to puzzle you a bit. Allow me. get these when I get lost, which happens frequently because I like to follow the path most flowered. Like I'll be on the right track, but then off in the distance I spot the loveliest little flower. So I follow it, thinking surely I'll find my way back to my intended path. But then from there, I chase another until I'm two towns over and missed book club. Freshly watered. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much for employing my trustworthy services once again. Please do not hesitate to contact me next time you're in need of any manner of strange service. Uh, well, bye-bye for now, my lovely friend. All right.